Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be a big crafting session in the Forge. It's going to be the first time that I am really diving into the Forge. I've been waiting and saving up my resources so that I can chart and do a video like this for you guys. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, I'm going to go ahead and pull up. You know me. We're going to uh, we're going to get some numbers on this thing. We're going to chart it. Uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be keeping track of pieces that I get that are excellent. These are pieces that are like no-brainers. You're going to want to keep them on your account. And then uh, something that's worth a roll where uh, maybe you got to see if it hits double or triple speed before you toss it. Uh, and then uh, things that are trash. This will probably be most of them. Uh, these are things that roll flat stats, uh, like boots that roll flat defense or something like things that you're obviously never going to wear. It's just going to be an insta-sell and, and you're going to get rid of it. So uh, first of all, uh, the reason I'm doing this now, you'll see here that on the Magisteel, I have got 10,000, and I've been saving this up for a few months, grinding the arena, grinding that Magis deal, and waiting so that I could have a good opportunity to to crank a video out this uh, out like this, where we chart some of the stuff and talk about it. So now is the time, because I am maxed out a Magis deal, and it is time to go ahead and craft a bunch of stuff. Uh, there is a fun way that you can get rid of some of your Magis deal uh, if you want to wait a little bit longer uh, when you're getting close to 10,000, and you want to dump some. So in terms of your resilience and perceptions sets, uh, these are usually the ones that you can uh, do this the most. What you want to do is if you're an end game player or even really a mid game player, you're not going to be crafting three and four star gear to wear it. You're going to be wearing at least, you're going to want to be doing at least the four and five star uh, and, and most often if you're in the end game, the five and the six star crafting. So three and four star gear, this craft right here is not going to be useful to anybody who's past the early game. So what happens, you can see here the blue border, the rare of the the bloodstone is not used in the five and six star craft so I recommend saving your stuff until you can craft some five and six star pieces and not bothering with this stuff so what happens is that resource is not even used on the five and six star so you don't need any of it if you're gonna manage your resources like that so you can pop down here to the three and four star and what you can do this costs 1,000 you can craft these pieces and then boom, you can see here it usually sells for somewhere between 10 and 15K and you're basically going 10X on your silver. All it's costing you is some of that Magisteel, which is the easiest resource to acquire in the forge. You're grinding it in the arena and it's a good way to burn through some of this Magisteel and at least buy yourself a little bit of time. It's super cheap. It only costs one per, you can see here, 10K. Now I'm just gonna be selling all these obviously because I'm not going to be keeping anything that's three and four star. There's 16k. That's a good one. Uh, that, that, that's a high seller. Usually it's between 10 and 15k. Nine. That's a low one at 9800 because it's a three star uh, rare weapon. So that's one of the lower ones. But yeah, you can burn through this stuff, and it's a good opportunity to make a little bit of silver really quickly. I now me doing this here, burning through these uh, these artifacts. I'll probably net about 250 or 300k. So again, it's not it's not millions of silver. It's not going to change your life or or really Really alter your account in a significant way but uh when, when it comes to a game like raid it's all about managing resources as efficiently as possible and hey if you can if you can pop off a, a few hundred k like this every now and then all those little small advantages and things that you uh things that you do to help your account they do add up over the long course of time so right here i would go through and sell all this stuff you can do the same exact thing with resilience Right here, it's the same story. It uses completely different resources uh, than Perception. You're using the Bloodstone. And then on their Resilience, you are using the Soul Stone right here. And they do use the same ones as these uh, as these Platinum sets. But you don't want to do this method uh, with the Platinum sets like Swift Parry and Deflection because they use Core Hammers. You don't want to be turning your Core Hammers into a little bit of silver because Core Hammers are very difficult to acquire. Uh, I always recommend when you see events that you maybe aren't super excited about doing, as long as it's got some Core hammers in it those are usually a pretty realistic entry level barrier to get some value out of that event at, uh, in, from like a budget standpoint at least go after the core hammers because even i have never done any crafting and i'm a pretty end game player i've only got 290 of these core hammers they are tough to get if you are not competing up there in platinum arena so definitely save those don't be turning those into silver but most notably your resilience and your perception sets you can pop on down here to the three and four star and start cranking out some silver pretty easily and uh and as long as you've got some resources saved up at least get uh you know 
300, 400, 500K by getting rid of some of this Magisteel right here. And of course, anytime you're gonna start crafting a bunch of stuff in the forge, you do wanna just really quick go through and make sure you have a lot of yourself some room and kept your uh, your artifact storage managed so that you're not running into uh, to being full and having to mess with your inbox and all that. But let's go ahead and talk about what we're gonna do and why we're gonna do it when it comes to this. Um, I'm gonna save up my core hammers for a little bit longer. I'm not gonna spend those right now, uh, but I will probably do that when I get up closer to 500 and start really trying to hit some of these uh, heavy heavy uh, platinum sets to see if I can get a really good one. So uh, the, the most generally useful set you could probably craft in the forge is Perception. I would venture to say that this is by far the, the one that gets crafted the most because you really can't go wrong with speed and accuracy. Uh, that's two stats that you need on a huge variety of different champions. Uh, so many of them are going to need both of those stats in order to be successful. So that's the that's your best choice in terms of general usefulness for your account if you're just looking for something to craft a lot of. So I will definitely be crafting some perception. Uh, now, I want to farm a little bit more, more materials for the uh, for the Doom Tower sets, which is these four, the Affinity Breaker, Untouchable, Fatal, and Frostbite. I'm going to wait a little bit on those. I'm going to mainly be focusing on these top ones, and I think the main gist of what I'm going to be doing today is going to be Perception until I really wait to see exactly what I need to progress further in the Doom Tower and which one of these are going to shake out best for my account. So that's the route that I'm going to be going right now and why I'm going to be doing it. So then in terms of using your charms... Um, I like to keep my rank and rarities uh, the, ab around the same, and I like to use them both at the same time so that they're, they're both helping the value of the other one. If you're going to go ahead and charm something, you might as well do it. That, that's my opinion of it. If you disagree, definitely let me know. But if I'm going to use a rank charm, I want to use a rarity charm. I, I want to really cram the uh, the bulk of my value in the forge into one artifact a a instead of like uh, going halvesies on it and, and, and trying to craft twice as much but have them be way worse. So that's the way I think about it. If you, if you disagree, let me know. But I like to use the rank and the rarity at the same time. Now, I'm going for kind of general crafting um, and, and I don't really want uh, like so shields are kind of the easiest ones to get uh, of good artifacts, useful things. The ones on the top are way easier to get. So if I was going to do anything, I would probably use uh, like, like a charm on the bottom just to increase the chances of getting something on the bottom. I wouldn't really use something on the top unless I was really focusing on something specific. But for now, we could put that away. Um, in terms of substats, if you're going to be doing uh, like, like not boots, you would definitely want to use your speed charms. They are really tough to get. They're by far the rarest. You can see here, I've never crafted before and I only have 19, whereas I've got like 50 or, or, or 30 something with some of these other ones. I've never bought offers before either to skew that. So speed charms are very tough to get. You've got to really be careful about how you use them. So right now, what I'm probably going to do is try to go for some good gauntlets or a good chess piece because I want pieces on the bottom. I want to cross that hurdle first. And I'm going to do that so that I can use... I'll start with gauntlets first. I'm going to do that so I can use some of these speed charm uh, substats because I don't want to craft boots and then increase the chance of the speed substat because that, I, that might lower my chance of getting a speed primary stat. I'm not 1,000% sure on that. Uh, I have not done, like, like I said, I haven't really dove into the mechanics of testing all these percentages. I've reached out for an answer from the source. I can't get a guaranteed answer on that, on if you're less likely to get speed primary stat boots if you use a speed substat charm. I have not gotten a definitive answer on that. If you have, let me know. I, I, I would obviously love to learn that and love to hear that. So that's why I'm going to try for gauntlets and a chess piece. And I'm going to see if I can use some of these speed charms and hopefully we'll get some good RNG and we will have some luck here. So... Let's fire it up. All right. Um, defense, not that great. It's You don't really want defense and attack. You're not going to use that a whole lot. Those stats don't synergize very well. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the trash section. Uh, that's not going to be a usable piece for an endgame account. So unfortunate there. Let's keep it rolling. That was close, though. It was a six-star and that's a, flat, uh, that's a flat stat chest. We don't want that. <laughs> All right. Come on. This hurts because I'm spending a lot of these charms and uh, and getting after it here. We've got a ooh, flat stat boots. Not going to work. Sell that. All right. Here we go. I'll probably go ahead and... Uh, that's, um, that's not bad. That's worth a roll. If that thing goes double speed and then gets crit rate at level 12 or something, it could be a good introductory piece. For like a faction wars champion or something i'll put that in the worth the roll category it's not uh it's definitely not trash i'll keep that for now i'll wait for an artifact enhancement event and roll that up to 12. so let's keep it rolling 
Okay, that is gonna go in the... Gosh, we're getting some good luck with six stars, kinda, but... Some of these are, are ending up in the trash category, unfortunately. We need to get that. We need to get at least at least one or two, like, uh, excellent pieces. Ooh. Ooh, close. Um, close. Non-speed boots can be really good for faction wars and dungeons. Um, or even, like, the normal Doom Tower. So, it's worth a roll if it goes double speed plus HP percent or something. I'll put that in the worth to roll category. Not amazing. Definitely not excellent. But at least it's six star... And it's got kind of the right stats I'm looking for here. So let's keep that. Um, okay. Shield, accuracy, resistance, defense. We don't really want resistance on perception uh, pieces. We're going to typically... It's going to be a champion we're stacking accuracy most times, obviously. Because it's it's a mainly an accuracy set. So that one's going to go in the bin as well, as Hell Hades would say. <laughs> there we go. And we've got... A flat stat, five star. That is going to be trash. And sell, okay. Here we go. Um, attack percent with minerals on, on the five star. Um, nope, can't do it. Again, we're getting close on some of these. We just can't quite crack that barrier. Uh, we're, down to, uh, we're down to 10 of our speed charms here. Hoping to get some good pieces. Hey, there we go. Dang it. Close, close. It did roll a flat stat, but but if it goes like two rolls on accuracy and one roll on crit damage, it is a six star speed boot, which is really good in this set. So I'm gonna I can't put that in excellent. Some people might argue it's a six star speed boot, it should be an excellent, but I just can't, I can't put it in excellent if it has a flat stat. If that was defense percent, boom, it would be an excellent. So I'm gonna put that that would be like in between worth a roll and excellent, but that is the best one I've gotten so far here. Pretty solid there. And that was on a speed uh, substat charm as well. Um, five star HP, speed and resistance. Uh, it's got resistance. It's five star rare. We can't we can't justify that one on an endgame account. We're gonna let that one rip here. Alrighty. Uh, flat stat. Flat stat gloves have gotta go. Quick decision there. It's a little bit unfortunate that we're at a 75% clip of trash, even with uh even with all these charms being used. Uh, we've got flat stat and resistance. Six star HP, legendary, that was good, but uh, yeah, unfortunate. Again, another close one that we just can't quite line up. And we're getting down to only six more left. <sighs> HP percent, uh, flat stat. Um... <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, you could argue if it went, like, double speed with a crit rate, five, I'm gonna give it worth a roll, I'm, I'm being generous there, you could argue on an endgame account, this is a trash piece, but, but if it goes triple speed crit rate or something, it would at least be an introductory faction wars piece for somebody that I need to kind of level out and, and get developed to, uh, to, to round out a faction wars team, so I will roll it for now and keep it, um, but that, but that was generous of me, admittedly. Um, okay, six star HP with crit rate and accuracy. Now that's worth a roll. That one's definitely, that one's perfectly in the worth a roll category because if that thing goes, uh, like hits, uh, speed at level 12, uh, with double crit rate or something, we could have a decent piece here. So we're going to keep that one for now. Four more left. Okay, um, not bad. We've got speed, HP, crit damage. Um, no accuracy, but it did get a speed. It's five star. If it goes double speed HP, again, that, I'll be generous. That's generous of me. I'll give it worth a roll, but that's another one where I'm being generous. I just don't want – I hate to see something go triple speed and I and I sold it. So this is the exact same thing. I, I hate to see it go triple speed and not have rolled it, so I'll put it in that category and keep it for now. Two more. Come on. Give me a big one. We haven't gotten one excellent out of this. <sighs> Close. Dang it. It rolled resistance. It rolled resistance and flat stat, and it rolled the min roll. Of four on the speed. Um, <laughs> if it goes like double speed crit damage, it has no accuracy on it though. I can't. I can't justify it. I gotta let that one go. Yeah, it was close. It was close like some of the other ones. Last one. Come on, here we go. And no, that is gonna be a trash there. So that is unfortunate. Um, we used all of our speed substat charms. And we are still sitting at, uh, <laughs> we're still sitting at uh, a 63% clip on trash, which is unfortunate. So, 
Um, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep doing a few pieces here. I want to get at least one GG one. Uh, but I, I am out of the, uh, the the substat charms on speed. So what what could I get? A I've got a lot of HP. We'll we'll go that route. HP percent is a pretty good one to get in general. So we'll start there. And that's trash. I can also switch it up. Uh, I can switch it up and go. My gauntlets are getting a little bit low. Let's see if we can get a good chess piece. Uh, now, HP substat wouldn't be bad if it rolls defense percent or, or attack percent. So we can be fine there with with using uh, with, with leveling out some of those charms. Let's go ahead and switch it up. See how the chests are going to go. Flat stat trash. Can't do it. Gosh, that was a good one too. Look at that. Six star epic with speed. Crit rate eight. <laughs> see now, now there, that, that's what I'm talking about. If I didn't use an HP percent charm, is there a better chance that would have had an HP percent main stat? And then this would have been a lot more usable. That's the things I don't know for sure. Um, that's what makes it difficult. Um, maybe you should only use those percent substats on the top ones. Uh, I got to put it in trash because it's, it's a it's a bottom piece that rolled a flat stat. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and save these charms until I craft top pieces. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm making that decision live here. Uh, you're you're kind of seeing my first go at it to charting a, a big forge session here. I'm going to go that route because that's something I need to make sure and figure out and, and get a definitive answer on. That's trash. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Come on. Come on. Crit rate resistance. Nope. Trash. Five star rare. Uh, I think I didn't add one. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Keep leveling it out. We've got to get at least one really, really good one. Six star HP. Uh, that one's good. Gosh, I can't quite go excellent, but that's it didn't have speed. Ugh, it doesn't have speed at all. It's worth a roll. It doesn't have speed, though. That's really, really rough. So uh can't, obviously can't be excellent if it doesn't have speed. Um ho I was hoping for at least one really good piece here. Um <laughs> we're currently at zero percent though on our uh on our excellent tier. Um, for, for me to keep that, it would have to have, if the resistance were speed, you could have made an argument, but nope, can't do it, can't do it, come on, I've got to be overdue on getting an excellent, that's a trash, got to be overdue on getting an excellent here, um, are my charms still pretty good, yeah, we could still do a few more chest plates here, um, trash, okay. Um, close. Close. Six star resistance. We're not going to be, it has no speed though, so I, I can't. It's a perception set. Um, if it had speed, I would at least keep it, but no, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Um, when you only, when you can only keep 700 uh, artifact slots on your account, the, the spots are priceless. So we can't do that. It's got to be, it's got to have things line up for me to keep it. Especially if it's, if it rolls resistance on an accuracy set. These ones have been, uh, have been easy to decide on, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, flat stat on a top piece is fine. This one's worth a roll. Speed, accuracy, crit damage. Um, you can almost go excellent on this. It's five star, but in terms of the rolls, um, it's excellent. Speed, accuracy, crit damage. Um, on a perception set, that's fine. I'm not going to go excellent though, because it, it's just not. It's not a bottom piece. It's not six star. I almost sold it. Let's, it's worth a roll though. Keep that one. Um, nope. Trash. And boom. And no speed. Can't do it. Um, HP and, and roll resistance. So, no. Come on. Give me one. Give me one on the video That's uh, that's uh, that, that I can be excited about. All right. Roll the flat stat. Nope. It's a rare with a flat stat. Nope. Close. I'm going to go to 40 on my chess pieces. Hey. <sighs> Those are good. Those are good. Um. That could be a really good piece for like dungeons and faction wars on like a on like a rosin or a, an Ignatius. I, I'm gonna go excellent on that. It's a six star bottom piece percent roll with crit rate accuracy and speed, and the crit rate and accuracy and the crit rate and speed both rolled six. So okay, that's a good one to uh to to to, to stop the uh 
this this charm set up here with with that. So that was good. Uh, we finally got an excellent piece. It took us what uh, 36 rolls to get one. So it looks like we're about. I don't know, somewhere between 2 and 5% to get an excellent piece in the Forge. And, like, I'll probably spend some more of this Magisteel because I'll farm this up. I probably farm 200 within, like, a, like a day or two So uh, when you're grinding it out in the arena. So I'll probably spend a little bit more of this Magisteel. But I don't want to make this video a 45-minute video or something. And But I wanted to show you a little bit of the thought process that goes into crafting in the forge and kind of what I'm thinking about as I'm doing it and why I'm doing it. I would love to hear your perspective on what you think I'm doing right, what you think I'm doing wrong, how you handle your forge, how you manage your resources. I would really enjoy some of that perspective as well because I love learning from you guys in the comment sections uh, instead of just uh, only talking to you. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I had some fun uh, crafting and I I'm glad I at least got, I looks like 10 pieces there uh, worth rolling on, on my like 200 Majesty deal. And, uh, and I will also turn the rest of the uh, rest of the stuff here uh, with the uh, resilience and the perception into uh, silver. So don't forget to do that if you're not going to be using the uh, the materials for the three and the four stars. That'll help you out a little bit on your silver. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one as always. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.